What's up, guys? It's Man 10,020 here, and welcome to how to make a uh, Windows Live Movie Maker video, or how to use Windows Live Movie Maker. But before you get all to this, uh, let's uh, add a video. Let's go to videos, add my intro. So click your video and click open, which is kind of obvious. Then right click here again, and click on add videos and photos, and add your main video. That's if you have an intro or outro. I named it vid. And add another one. Uh, which is here. Which is the outro. Open it. There we go. We have our video. Except it's kind of boring. Because it's just intro. Video. And outro. So right here. Is uh, you go to each part of the video. It's like. Yeah. You, you kind of get that. You should. Uh, this is for frames spec. If you're looking for like an exact part to add something from here, also from here too. This you click this to go full screen. This is the time. All right, so up here you have uh, your things. Uh, uh, you have new project, open project, save project, publish, save movie, import from a device, all that kinds of crap. But we're making the video right now. So right now you have home, uh, animations, visual effects, project, view, and edit. Uh, if I miss anything from here that I forget to show you, uh, I apologize. You can add, tell me in the comments and I'll probably answer your question. You can add videos and photos from here. You can add music. You can add a webcam video. Record narration, which is overlay of, yeah, it's... It's non-live commentary, pretty much. You can add text. This is for uh, music. Uh, you can rotate the video left and right. You can remove something. You can select all to do one thing. Which is pretty much here. You can uh, upload to YouTube from here. You can save the movie. And you can... Yeah. So animations, these are transitions, pretty much. So I don't know why they put animations. But... For here, we have a bunch of animations. That, 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 that. There's tons, because if you click right here, uh, it'll go down. Or if you just click the whole thing, you can uh, use this and scroll down. And yeah, we have a bunch of transitions here. Uh, you can look into this, because I'm not going to go through every one. But usually, I use this one, So because it looks kind of cool. So yeah. And then for the other transition, you just click on the video, or on the part where you're transitioning to, not the one that, that is playing before it, but the one that you're going to transition to. Click on animations again, and then choose another one. Now I'm going to use the shatter effect for my last part, which does that. Then to my outro. So yeah, uh, now uh, to add text, you just click on whatever you... The title is just that. Let's remove that part. Which you right click and then click remove. But uh, caption. Let's add caption and then let's just put like sup, bro. You know how to do that. You can move the text wherever you want. You can highlight it. And up here, uh, another tab will open up. Format. You can choose uh, uh, a font, which I have plenty of fonts. Uh, I'll probably, yeah, I have all this kind of stuff. But yeah, I have a Minecraft font. Let's just put up bro again. You can highlight it, change the color right here. This changes the color, so let's put it to red. Easier to see. This makes it bold. And you can change the size of it, or you can just do it automatically with this. Or well, whoops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have to put actual number there. But yeah, so yeah, you can move, you can move the text wherever you want. You can put it right here, but I'm not gonna put it right there. I'm just gonna remove it because I don't want a text. Uh, you can put. Oh uh, well, visual effects is pretty much just changing it, so it looks weird. That's nothing. It's just changed pretty much the outline color and stuff. I don't really use that that much. It'll probably be good for montages, but yeah. Uh, Audio mix emphasizes narration. This is just editing other stuff. Okay, 
what you have to do to get rid of the black bars on the bottom because if you put it right here standard you got these huge black bars there and nobody likes black bars so you, you go to project the tab project which I'm already in and put it on widescreen 16 colon 9 and it'll go like that which is a lot better view zoom in zoom out reset thumbnail size which is changing uh, this thing the icons preview full screen just makes it all full screen and a uh, escape you can press escape to leave that uh... most of this stuff i don't know but editing uh... you can put the video volume here you can you can change the speed so it goes like really fast or but the trim tool you can trim out a part where you want to so like how about see right here this is where you're gonna trim out of the part where you just added but I'm not gonna trim anything so cancel uh... set start point and end point is also where you can trim uh... so but I yeah, rather just use this splitting is just adding a transition pretty much so yeah if you're gonna split you have to move this thing which you could, might have noticed the, the black bar uh, if you move it around, you can just you can hold it. Now, if we add music, which I need to go to my desktop, uh, desktop, uh, where is my extras folder? Extras, uh, let's add Skrillex Syndicate. And we're here, we can move it around, and, uh, that's probably not a good place to put it, so I'm just gonna put it right here. We can... We can okay. Here's an example of the trim tool. Okay, so you want to click the song. Uh, no, actually, just move it. Click the song. Then we can after it's all bolded around the song. Make sure it's on the song. You can set start point, which would make the song start at the point where you started at. And then you can add the end point, which is click here, and then add endpoint which just click endpoint but I didn't really do anything much so yeah uh it's pretty much it I think so you can look more into this stuff if you're looking to do something else you can tell me here you can upload it to anywhere save movie but I'm gonna show you how to save the movie you click right here where my mouse is if it would do it then click save movie and you can either do it for high definition display or for computer uh... sometimes i usually do it for computer so yeah so you, all you gotta do is click here and then just name it whatever you want uh... hoob illy blue blah but i'm not gonna save it so yeah guys that's how you pretty much how you use windows Movie Maker. I'll see you guys next time.